G'day and welcome to this week's Frybat Friday Beers and Tools with Andy. This week we've got another beer provided by Spinifex Brewing to me. Uh, Spinifex is a uh, veteran owned company out of uh, Broome in Western Australia and they have spent, sent me their latest uh, special release uh, Spec Ops Lager. What do they have to say about their Spec Ops Lager? The 4.2% ABV brew has been created to pay our respect to all past and serving members of the Special Air Service Regiment, Special Operations Engineer Regiment and commandos operating under Special Operations Command or SOCOM. Spinifex has been a fantastic supporter of Grey's Builds and uh, I thank them very much for sending me their beers to try. So let's give the Spec Ops Lager a try. Happy Friday. Good bite. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like that. Exactly the quality of beer that I've come to expect out of Spinifex. Uh, that is a terrific lager. It's got a really nice initial bite. It's got a great flavour. Yeah. Wow. You guys have done it again. Adam, thank you very much for sending it to me. Uh, look, that's a five out of five spanners for me. That is an awesome drop. Uh, if you're interested in um, in buying any of the Spinifex range, uh, there are some outlets in some states now. Uh, I, there are available on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description below so that you can buy some from there. But um, yeah, <laughs> terrific beer. Well done, Spinifex again. This week, I am reviewing a channel lock tool uh, from Made in the United States and I bought this from Amazon and this came up on my uh, Amazon feed and I think most of you know my love and penchant for Knipex pliers. Channel lock are pretty much on par with Knipex. They're made in America so they're good quality. The reason why I bought these and yes I do have other channel lock or um, channel type pliers in my kit is these were $20.68 delivered from the States. Now, I think I've explained before, especially for my overseas viewers, in Australia, we get ripped off for tools. We pay a lot of money for good quality tools. Chinese stuff floods the market and is relatively cheap, but good quality stuff made in Australia, made in America, made in Germany type tools is very expensive. The Knipex equivalent to these in Australia is probably about $60 or $70 Australian. So when I saw these come up for $20.68, I thought I'm going to jump on those and give them a try. These are nine and a half inch pliers and uh, have a lifetime warranty, have a jaw capacity of 1.25 inches or 31.75 millimeters. Yeah, as I mentioned, made in America, forged, car forged high carbon steel. So let's pull them out of the packet and have a look at them. The one thing I really like about the Knipex tools is that they actually latch in position, whereas the channel locks actually just slide up and down without moving anything. The channel locks have a push button here to hold them in the correct uh, position of what you've designed. Now, is that a big problem? Oh, hello, visitor. Say hello to the viewers. Hello, viewers. Good boy. Uh, Yes, uh, is that a big problem? Well, no, not really, not for these type of sliding pliers, it's not really, because once you've got them in position and you start actually latching onto whatever you're latching onto, they don't move from that channel. I just prefer the Knipex push button uh, latching system to keep them in the channel. They're pretty good one-handed. Uh, they're very nicely made. The, uh, the finish is really excellent, as you'd expect from uh, channel lock, and Look, for $20, you know, a fifth the price of probably what I would pay for Knipex in Australia, uh, for $20.68, $20 these are excellent value for money. I will put a, a link down in the description below, and Grey's Builds does get a small kickback if you buy from that link. Uh, it doesn't cost you any extra, so please consider that if you're interested in a good quality pair of pliers. Uh, I haven't looked to see what these are worth from the big tool shops in Australia. Let me have a look right now. 
Okay, so a quick look on uh, online shows me that eBay in Australia, they're selling them for about $45. Uh, at the big tool shops, they range from anywhere from $50 up to $75. Uh, which just goes to show how much of a rip-off we do get in Australia or markup on our tools. So I'm very pleased in this case that Amazon is, is in Australia now and I've been buying quite a few sets of tools from them. So let's talk value for money first. For $20.68 for a high quality pair of slip pliers made in America, uh, these are excellent quality they are five out of five at twenty dollars sixty eight i can't give them any any better score than top score of five beers out of five you can't go past it for twenty one dollars why would you even buy a cheap set of even probably five or ten dollar chinese uh, tools in australia when for twenty dollars you can have good quality channel lock brand tools for functionality uh, as I said, the only minor thing that I have, and, and it's not a major issue certainly at all, uh, is the push button locking on the Knipex is preferable over these. However, like I said, Knipex equivalent in this size would be about $60, $70 at least in Australia. So about three or four times the price in Australia. All right, let's talk value for money. They are good quality, however, I've just noticed that there is a little bit, of, and hopefully I can show you this on the, on the video, there is a little bit of slop in the handle. Now, I know they are channel lock pliers, they, they, they have a channel so that they adjust, but you'll also notice, and it's a bit hard for me to show on the video, is the misalignment of the the front of them and again hard to show but I think you can see that um, so I'm going to knock them down a point for that uh, that's a four out of five for me um, they are not the same sort of uh, precision as Knipex for example but they are to or sorry, three or four times less price. So they're gonna be a great addition to the rest of my kit. Uh, I will use the Knipex in certain instances, but these will be fine for most of, most of my work requiring slip lock pliers. So yeah, four out of five. Not bad, but not perfect. All right, well that's it for this week's Frybat. Hope you enjoyed that, hope you got something out of it. Um, please remember that the um, the items. Hello. Come here. You're a good boy. Please remember that the items that you can uh, that I review here, I usually put a link in the description below. Uh, certainly for the channel lock, and I'll put an Amazon link to the uh, Spec Ops Spin FX brew as well. Terrific brew. You're very cuddly today. What's going on? Anyway, that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed that. See you next week. Cheers.